What conspiracy theories do you think are too logical to ignore? David Miscavige, the chairman of the Church of Scientology definitely murdered his wife and is getting off scot-free for it. Him and his wife got into a pretty heated argument in 2007, and she hasn't been seen since. Lawyers hired by David claim she is still alive and devotes 100% of her time to work at the Church of Scientology, which is why she hasn't been seen since August 2007. In 2013, a former member of the church had filed a missing person report that was closed after a few officers had spoken and seen Mrs. Miss Cavage, even though Terry's no evidence whatsoever of this meeting. All missing persons reports now are turned down since this investigation is forever closed. With the number of millionaire billionaires that are psychopaths or similar, there must be a few super rich serial killers out there. By extension there must be people making money supplying victims in the same way Epstein was supplying girls to the wealthy who wanted to scratch an itch. With the money, power and influence would come governments and intelligence agencies willing to overlook or cover up terrible actions for leverage. New Coke was a way for Coca-Cola to switch from real sugar to corn syrup without people noticing. Switch to the new formula that everyone hates. Keep it for a while so that people demand the old one back, then switch it back after enough time has passed that people wouldn't notice the relatively subtle change. Nothing's actually happening in Area 51. The government just keep it so people will focus on it and ignore the shady stuff happening somewhere else. That the US knowingly left POWs behind in Vietnam. Google Maps only asks you for feedback on its navigation when it knows it did a good job. I use navigation all the time, and I find that when it gets me to the destination on time or earlier than predicted, I get a notification asking to rate the trip. But if it gets me there after it originally estimated, I never get that notification. The fashion industry makes too much money from purses to care about making pockets for women easily available at it. All the people saying just buy men's pants have apparently never seen a woman's hips. I like that people always are worried that Epstein was murdered instead of suicide. What if this was a ploy to cover up that he just escaped or paid his way out of prison? Secret societies definitely exist. Amazed that I haven't seen Gary Webb HTTPS and .m .wikipedia .org Wikigari Webb mentioned. Expose the CIA for assisting in drug trafficking and commit suicide with two bullets to the head. Jamie Lynn Spears was raped by Dan Schneider. He is the father of her first child. I believe that the US government has men in black that make people disappear if they know more than what's good for them. I quite like the missing cosmonauts theory. It's unlikely but seems like it could have been possible. It boils down to the idea that Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space. He was just the first man in space to survive the entire process. Edit, phrasing. Also thanks for the gold con stranger. Pretty sure I saw it here on Reddit at one point. But someone brought up the art trade. That these million dollar art shows individual pieces that go for insanely high prices are just a way for money laundering. This isn't a conspiracy theory but I find any chance I can to say that dinosaurs definitely had feathers and deniers are just clinging to Spielberg's image of them. The FBI keeps posting questions like this to see what the public knows at it. Why did this do well? Nutley NJ where Martha Stewart was born, has a butcher shop every other corner. How much meat does one small blue-collar town need? Suspicious. Good time to sort by controversial. The Denver Airport Theory. I mean the capstone of the building literally has the Freemason logo on it, Terry's some weird-ass apocalypse murals on the walls, the runways look like a swastika and Teresa 50-foot-tall horse statue with red glowing eyes. I mean seriously who the duck designed that place? Jamie Lynn Spears, Miranda Cosgrove, Victoria Justice, 
etc. were raped by Dan Schneider. Nickelodeon let him get away with a lot. Terry's so many feet jokes in all their shows. A lot of the interviews with those cast members get really awkward when they're around Dan. If you got to pursue your dream career when you really wanted it wouldn't you do just about anything? If you made Dan Schneider mad your career would be ruined and your dreams would be over. Edit, I do admit rape is a strong allegation, but he is at least really creepy with the feet jokes. At the very least he is a pedophile with sexual attraction toward his female stars. Some torture devices such as the Iron Maiden were made up hundreds of years later so people would think well, a regular hanging ain't too bad then. Let me introduce you to Hashtag Juan Capircer, the theory that Oscar-winning director Bong Joon-ho made a sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with his 2012 film Snowpiercer. That bitch Debbie that used to work in accounting stole the succulent I had on my office desk. She always made comments about how much she loved it. Then she quit her job here and I come in to work the next day and it's mysteriously nowhere to be found. Haven't seen it since. We don't know who killed Kennedy. McDonald's shake machines are never actually down, the night crew people are just too lazy to clean it. 1. Kennedy gets elected 2. Kennedy is critical of the CIA, his own VP and military for wanting to turn the Cold War into a hot one and the willingness to perform false flag operations, Project Northwoods, to do it. 3. Kennedy is shot 4. His VP takes power 5, classified. That karma on Reddit really does nothing. Probably too late to this thread but the idea that there are too many chicken wings for the amount of chicken sold. There is something like a billion chicken wings sold every Super Bowl, where are they coming from? The US government's involvement in the crack cocaine epidemic. The NFL manipulates its games just enough in order to get the best product out of their season because they are a business with billions of dollars on the line. Dr. Claw is Inspector Gadget. Edit. Dr. Claw is human inspector and Inspector Gadget is obviously a younger clone of him. With all the scientists in the world there has to be at least one secret lab on this planet where they have cloned a human. NASCAR is fake it's just Hot Wheels going around a track and all the sounds are made by one guy in a sound booth imitating what he thinks a race car would sound like. Us intelligence conducting organized blackmail operations out of Epstein's Island. The prosecutor handling Epstein's old case was told to back off and go easy because Epstein was intelligence. Acosta's departure from the administration confirmed that this was not just a rumor. So as an American, I would really like to know exactly who was blackmailing who, how far it extended, and what political decisions were affected. Jar Jar Binks was supposed to be a Sith Lord and the big bad of the Star Wars prequels, but George Lucas screwed up the directing and then chickened out after seeing the public reception of the character. See also Darth Jar Jar. Some people had to talk about Fight Club. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. Amazon Go isn't about replacing cashiers, but about selling stock, receiving tax breaks for a road and selling marketing analytics on the shoppers. This is why the stores are placed in financial districts and aren't open 24 hours or the weekend. Their camera system is backed up by employees watching you. Google Amazon Go Chicago. They're closed right now. FYI the moon the landings were real in fact there were six in total and it's not hard to achieve. Pro tip, read the comments in Alex Jones's voice before deciding whether to believe them. Ronan Farrow is obviously Frank Sinatra's kid and not Woody Allen's. See for yourself. HTTPS www.therap.com content uploads 201809 Frank Sinatra and Ann Farrell Wood Yellen. JPG. My dog did not go to Doggy Disneyland because he won a lifetime ticket for being a good boy. I think that he in fact died. 
I do believe that pigs can fly, that ghosts can haunt your bed, that little Timmy didn't die, that Paul McCartney's dead. I do believe that people see the future in their dreams, that aliens abducted me, that jet fuel melts steel beams. That lizard people rule the earth, that rapture's coming soon, that Bama faked his place of birth, that Nixon faked the moon. I do believe the world is flat, that Spanish flu was planned, that Donald Trump's a Democrat, that Masons rule the land. Of tricks and treasons, large and small, of each you might conceive, you'll find there's not a thing at all I don't, in fact, believe.